pause the video. Oh, what's up, y'all? The boy Protest Sports from the Protest Sports Network. Back with another video for y'all. We're gonna blow say safe to help. Say safe to help if I get to all with God. On God, I right now. Hope God's on the door. Pray with all you guys. Also, closing doors need to be closed. Open up new and better doors for you guys. You just need to pray. Man, today's video is on our Washington Commanders and I'm break down their full schedule. I'm talking their full schedule, uh, record predictions, ceilings, floors, all that good stuff. Today's video. Let's get right into it. Some of you guys, if the game's winnable or not, if we should win the game or not. I'm not going to. I'll probably do a record prediction. Why not? Screw it. Week one, we should defeat the Jaguars. We're a better football team. Point blank period. We should beat the Jaguars, but don't sleep on them. But we should be able to beat the Jaguars. Week two, Detroit's got a lot better this offseason. Adding Jameson Williams and Aiden Hutchinson to their repertoire. Also, they they kept Josh Reynolds. They did some other good things in free agency as well. In order to supplement their team and keep guys they need to keep. But I just don't think they're a better team than us right now at this moment. We should be the Detroit Lions. I think we will defeat the Detroit Lions, start 2-0 and on our NFL season. They'll start 2-0 in a long time, by the way. Week three, this will probably be our first loss of the season in my eyes. I think we do split with the Eagles this year, but I do think the home game is the one we will lose. So I do think the Eagles are a better football team than we are slightly right now. I think that's just the addition of A.J. Brown, them drafting Jordan Davis. Take some guys over the top right now, but we'll see how the season goes. But I do think we split the Eagles, and it's the one we will lose. It's the one at home versus the Philadelphia Eagles to get us a 2-1 season. I don't believe in the Dallas Cowboys. I think I stated that to you guys already in previous videos during this offseason. I think the Cowboys have lost too much. I think they lost their luster a little bit. And I do think that we can catch the Cowboys slipping in Dallas and Jerry's world to get a huge dub to get the free one the season. I don't believe in Dak. Don't believe Mike McCarthy. I don't believe in their wide receiving court outside CeeDee Lamb. I do think Michael Gallup is a nice receiver, but he's truly a wide receiver too. I don't think so. So I think we can handle the Cowboys. Not in easy fashion. I think it'll be a tough win to get, but nonetheless, I got us going out on top. Don't believe in the Titans right now outside Derrick Henry. Don't believe in that team right now. They got they, they're a little shambles. They like, traded AJ Brown away. They did draft Traylon Burks, but he's a rookie, so he's a question mark. It's like Jahan Dotson, he's also a question mark. And also they had Robert Woods. They traded for him, but he's come off an ACL tear. So we don't know how he's gonna look coming off the ACL. He's also a question mark. But I do think even when I 100 percent healthy at this point, we might we not, might not have Chase Young at this point, or we might not have Logan Thomas at this point. I do think that we can contain Derrick Henry, force Ryan Tannehill to beat us, and force Ryan Tannehill to make mistakes. If we do that, we win this game. I, think we, I believe we actually do that. So we beat the Titans. We get the 4-1 on the NFL season at this point. We're our only loss being to the Philadelphia Eagles. The Bears are not a good football team right now. I'm not going to talk about them too much. I think we get the dub there. On Thursday Night Football, 8.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get that win there versus the Bears to get to 5-1 in the NFL season. I think – I think we could beat Green Bay. I think we could beat Green Bay. No Tay Adams, no Jadarius Smith anymore. Rashawn Gary is a really good pass rusher. He's coming on as of late for the end of the 2021 NFL season. But – as he reads to Darius Smith, I say no. So, with that being said, I do think the Packers are going to lose that game to us at FedEx Field. We will be 6-1 and one on the season at this point. We might be atop of the NFC East. This is why I think we start losing football games here, though. I do think, you know what? I'm going to go on a limb. We can beat the Colts. We can beat the Colts. We will beat the Colts. I I'm going to say that. We lose to the Vikings. I think the Vikings are a better football team than us right now. So I think we lose that game. That puts us at seven and two on the season. Uh we're gonna lose one of these games. So I had losing the home game against Philadelphia. I do think that Carson Wentz does get his revenge versus his former team in the Philadelphia Eagles. 
in Lincoln Financial Field to get us to 8-2 and two on the NFL season. This is why I think things start to go left a little bit toward the end of this. I think we beat the Texans. I think they're not, they're not a good football team right now who can handle them and get to 9-2 and two on the NFL season at that point. We lose to the Falcons. No, no, no. I should beat the Falcons. So we're 10-2 at this point, right? 10-2. and two. We lose to the Giants at this point to get to 10-3. and three. I just truly think that we're going to lose a game or two we're supposed to win, and this is just one of them. We don't beat the New York Giants in New York for some weird reason. I don't care what we call the Commanders, football team, Redskins, whatever we're called, we don't beat them in New York. Week 14 by, I get to go ahead and get it for the home stretch, which is great. I think we split with the Giants this year. So that go ahead and puts us at I said we're 10 and 3. Going to the battle puts us 11 and 3. We lose to the 49ers. I think they're a better football team. This is point blank period. It's really a better football team. We lose to the Browns, puts us at 11 and 5. And we lose to the Cowboys in week 18 at home. We split with everyone in the NFC East. That's pretty straight losses. We were 11 and 3 at that point. That finished at 11 and 6 on the NFL season. I think that is our ceiling there as well. So, yeah, 11 and 6 for the Washington Commanders this year. I think our ceiling would probably be 12 and 5, if I want to be honest. Our floor is 8 and 9, though. I think we have a very high floor. Unlike last year, I thought our floor was like 5 and 12 or 6 and 10, 6 and 11. I do think our floor is 8 and 9. I think we can win eight games off the break with the schedule. I do think the schedule makers did some 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 favors. I'm not the biggest fan of the late bye week, but outside of that, I mean, the teams we play, we should be able to beat some of these teams. Even the good teams like Minnesota, I think it's a good football team, then we can handle them. I think Indy's a good football team, but I think we can handle them. I just – I don't think we're going to beat Kirk Cousins in his return to Washington with the with the Minnesota thing. I think Kirk's going to be motivated, honestly. It might be four years later. Mike don't care anymore. But we didn't want him here as a massive fan base. I wanted him back personally, but as a fan base, we were torn about Kirk. And I think he's going to feel some type of way. I think he's going to come in here and light up, but up. I'm telling you right now, he's going to light us up. So be ready. Could get ugly. But I do think we're going to win some games we're not supposed to win, and we're going to lose a couple games we're not supposed to lose. So they'll bounce out. Honestly speaking, I think 11 and 6, 10 and 7, I think is fair. 12 and 5 might be asking too much of these guys right now, especially with the with the Carson Wentz thing and him learning the playbook and get acclimated to the offense, learning new pieces, things of that nature. We might struggle early, but I think the schedule makers did us a huge favor by giving us Jacksonville and Detroit to start the season while Wentz does get acclimated to the offense. And then we really start the tougher games once we play the Eagles. So that's gonna do it for me, man. That is my my schedule prediction, uh, ceiling and floor, and also my game the game predictions for our Washington Commanders. I have it finishing eleven and six, either winning the NFC East or being the fifth seed in the NFC playoffs. That's how I see it. I think we would be, be the first wild card, or we'll be the third or fourth seed winning the NFC East at eleven and six. I think the only team that stands on our way of winning the NFC East is the Philadelphia Eagles, by the way. But like, comment, subscribe, guys, and new turn post notifications. Always catch a protest for you at the Protest Sports Network. You guys could put you guys could put God for saving this COVID. Have a great one, guys. Let me know if you have in the conversation down below. And until then, peace, love, and blessings. And I'm out, bro. So until then, y'all be easy.